Leo, this is your weekly tarot card reading and astrology summary. And it is a big week for you because we have a full moon in Leo that is in opposition, like all full moons are, to the sun in Aquarius. And there's a lot going on around it. So let's get into this general reading for Leo, sun, moon, and rising sign. And guys, there's always an extended video that I hope you will join me for. The links are down below. I'll attach it to the top of this video so you can click right on it and go to it. Um, I'll also put it to the top of the comment section. Um, this is an energy reading. So wherever it resonates in your life, please apply it. You may want to check out your moon sign reading and your rising sign video because sometimes that resonates more than a sun sign video. Um, if you really love this, sh uh, this video, don't forget to show that love by liking the video and then like giving it a little thumbs up and then subscribe to the channel so that you can know when I upload all your favorite content. All you gotta do is ring that, that bell and you will, you'll get notifications. If you really, really love my content and wanna join me for live chats, Monday through Friday, I have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation where I go live and I do a general tarot card reading, astrology overview, and I can interact with you directly. So that would be wonderful. Let's get into, I was gonna say the cards, but let's, let's first review the astrology. So February 4th, 5th, and 6th, the moon is going to be in Leo. And it's February, I was been saying 4th, but 5th, that the moon is actually in direct opposition with the sun. Um, the sun is in Aquarius, which is a challenging position to begin with because the sun, which is your ruling dignitary Leo, is in detriment in Aquarius, which means it's most vulnerable in the energy that is directly opposite to you, the crowd, everybody, being the people, being part of the collective mind, as opposed to being the leader, right? And looking to your own purpose and your own heart, feeling and caring about other people's. And Leos are very caring individuals. It doesn't mean that you don't care about others if you're born a Leo, but it's a mindset and it's a purpose, right? Where you would listen to the crowd first before you decide to take action. Whereas Leo, Leos just follow their heart. So the, the sun is in detriment right now. And it's going to be by the end of this week in a very difficult position where it's conjunct to Saturn. And I say difficult because that kind of makes you into something that you may not want to be. Very authoritative, very um, demanding, very insistent, very rule oriented, kind of like regulations and rules. Now the sun could be illuminating something about these circumstances or situations or subject matters in our overall world. But and a conjunction is very powerful, so it could just mean that you're ready to take charge or become an authority or really understand and know how you want to apply, apply your life. But since this is when the sun is in detriment and Saturn is actually the, the traditional ruler of Aquarius, there is a sense of maybe becoming something that you're not. So this could be potentially, um, potentially challenging, challenging energy for you. Um, for those of you who have your natal sun at about between 15 and 20 degrees Leo, so that's not the 15th to the 20th of any month, that's between 15 to 20 degrees of Leo, it will be you guys who this full moon will be conjunct. It will be conjuncting your natal sun, which means you will be feeling it most profoundly and those questions of me versus or as a part of the crowd am i you know like who am i how do i stand out do i want to stand out am i here for support or am i here like there will be a lot of there will be a lot of powerful questions that come up for you during the full moon but i think the full moon will help to clarify those aspects of who you are as well as your goals, as well as who you love and what you feel, clarify that and let you release all of those things that were imposed upon you, perhaps by others, um, so that you can make room for what you are building. Um, the full moon is going to be trying to Chiron. Yeah, I got my little notes here. It's gonna be trying to Chiron and Jupiter meaning that there is harmony and expansion and growth that has come from going through a lot and being put through a lot of pain. 
So ultimately, this is a time to clear things out and get rid of things and really feel like, okay, maybe I need to ask for help. Maybe this is just a chance for me to finally release needing to suffer. You know what? You know, I, 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 I'm just gonna say it. Finally, release needing to suffer, needing to be disadvantaged, releasing that, um, because it's toxic. Um, how will you balance you versus them? Are you inspired to help others? And that could be really what this is the game changer for you. Wanting to, like, all of a sudden being inspired and knowing I want to do something. I've got to take charge. I've got to be the one that goes out there because if it ain't going to be done right, if, 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 if you can't get something done right, you got to do it yourself. That's kind of the energy that is really empowering you and will going to probably overwhelm you this week. And then toward the end of the week, like I said, we'll get into how that Saturn conjunction with the sun is because that is going to be semi-square to Jupiter. Uh, and that could be that there's that that is causing conflicts or you don't like the way things are growing and so you want to take charge because you see that there are faults or errors and you don't want them you, you don't want them you you want to make things right or it could just be thinking that you're right so this could be a very challenging week and what I would say is stay as open-minded as possible and try to listen and not just hear it doesn't mean that they're right and that you're wrong, but you do want to become clear on it because it could be overwhelming this week of certainty of yourself could be over overwhelming, uh, certain that you have to do something, um, but are the tactics that you're using correct? I think they're going to be. Let's get into the cards. So we have this, we have The Nine of Cups is dreams, wishes, wishes coming true. Fulfillment. Fulfillment. Let's put it that way. Let's not even call it wishes. Let's just call it fulfillment. Your cups are filled. And then we have the sun. Okay, so what this is coming out as is there's a lot of abundance here for you because that's the Leo energy. A shit ton of abundance for you. But then we have a lot of people who are hating on you and who want to take what you have or maybe they're just holding on. So they're going to be angry and pissed at the fact that or maybe you feel more defensive because people are coming and hating on you and you're saying, okay, fine, then I'm blocking you out. I don't trust you. Whatever this is, whatever way this is happening, this is the energy of being wanting to protect your money, wanting to protect your resources, wanting to protect what you have because it seems like them crowds have just gone wild and they think that they have a right to two things that they don't have a right to. One at a time, these people would be easy to handle, but the fact that all of these things are coming at you at once could be very overwhelming. So there is a sense of, 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 being attacked or people blocking your certainty and your security there's such happiness and abundance that you have and you don't want anybody to interfere with that so there is a little bit of defensiveness here especially financially okay let's keep going leo leo is there a need to defend yourself family is coming out so it could be that you want to take your family away or you want to move somewhere, you want to go someplace or, or your family is sort of your driving force for progress here because in the future we have cancer energy. So this is maybe building a family, thinking about your family or thinking about, listen, where do I have to go to get away from this BS? There could be movement on your mind. Then we have Queen of Swords, which is my GPS card, deciding to move in a different direction or basically scouting scouting for where it would be best maybe to raise your family or to start a family or just to move yourself and and where maybe it's not physical movement right what's the way forward i guess is what you're asking yourself the question that's coming up and then we have the queen of cups we have queen of cups and queen of swords this could be two people who are both giving you advice and saying listen we got to move forward this is Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You have Cancer energy. This is all motivation to do something that is right to nurture and take care of, especially concerning a family or your family. This could be two different 
two different feminines giving you advice, two different advisors, um, loving, caring, unconditional, flowing, em not emotional, but almost intuitive advice. And the other is very um, clinical, very pragmatic, very intellectual. Um, it's almost like there's some sense of got to make this decision for somebody because they're focused on the family. That's really interesting. Hold on. There could be progress being made here too or being inspired by progress somebody else has made. Let's get a moon card out here because it's important. We have expect powerful change. So we're going to dig deeper into this card and say what exactly is that and how does it come about? But expect powerful change come this new moon eclipse. There's no new moon eclipse coming up. The new moon we just passed. Hold on. Hold your vision. You and your loved ones are, you want to keep you and your loved ones are safe. You want to protect them. That's really interesting. And look at these two add up. Adjustments are required. If you want to keep <laughs> two, right, two sides, if it's like the both the both of you have to work together to keep your family safe number one or number two all of these things are adding up you've got to make adjust you have to hold your vision but you also you have to make adjustments to this vision that you're holding in order to keep your family safe it's almost like you're realizing now in order to be good to others you do have to change your execution or your trajectory in some way and it's these people now in your life that you want and that you love so in other words your priorities are shifting it's not that you don't still aspire for something but you're realizing I gotta go about this a different way maybe I've got to do it from a different location um, you're you're really starting to get serious and that's what I think that Sun conjunct um, Saturn is really going to do for most of you is gonna make you really serious about stuff make you make adult decisions that maybe you haven't made in a long time get really serious get really practical it's not about the glitz it's not about the glamour it's not about the notoriety or notability it's about what works and what creates an environment where they are most protected and most respected so the driving force this week is family but it's growing up it's maturation it's making decisions that you know aren't just good for you but are good for others too and this is what's really come over you there was a sense at least one point in your life it's like you can't just take care of yourself anymore there's a sense of I can't just hold on to you know what what works for me or what's right for me um, I don't think you're giving up anything I think I don't think you're giving up anything that's important to you let's put it that way what is this expect powerful change can you tell me and then we have another Queen of Pentacles what is this there's like this gathering of feminines oh and, oh did you see that the wheel of fortune snuck out on me so this is a sense of somebody is wise and practical and she's better with money than you realized right this is also good fortune and finances coming in being able to generate and manage money but this is also what makes sense and making a decision to your heart your mind your practicality it's all working together to do something that is really making sense for what though I don't know this new this new thing this new chance this new opportunity this new little person it might be a child Leo Aries Sagittarius but it's like everything is future focused now for some reason everything right is for this maybe it's not a child it's a new beginning or it's a new start or it's a new passion right but everything is about clearing the way and saying okay I'm shifting my focus I'm shifting my priorities this is about our direction now our new trajectory and making this work and taking care of it and nurturing it and making sure that it works out for all of us not just me this is good luck and good fortune that comes out together and I'm, I'm gonna try to find out why first let's go back what is this powerful change it's a change of priorities that was that was just made clear to me 
falling in love the lovers maybe somebody new came into your life or this is a relationship but this relationship changed everything it's changed the way you, your perspective and it's changed your priorities this is something that is just so tremendously overwhelming like you're just attracted to somebody and it's like taking action on that and make allowing that to become the priority in your life then we have the death card here which is resurrection this could be with a Scorpio because we do have that queen of cups but it's also that you thought this was dead you thought you thought this opportunity was dead you thought this chance would never come to you this is actually reconstructing you and making you into something that you weren't before so in other words this is telling me that this change this love affair this attraction this new passion of yours is going to transform you the death card is here and that's tr transformative energy so you're trying to hold your vision that's the thing you're trying to hold your vision but the truth is you can't because you're not going to be the same person that you used to be the changes are coming like in the cells of your body so there's no way you're going to want the same thing on the other side and i think that there's such a trajectory or or focus on the other side that yeah you're changing you're shifting your priorities aren't ever going to be the same i wonder what this is uh, judgment there's some sort of announcement or call that you hear there's some sort of overarching um, decision that ends up saying hey you know you're called to do this so there's something is fate there's something really destined in this energy we just got we just got three major arcanas so if you just met a person or if you're attracted to somebody or this is this is your long-term love affair this is this is really changing or deciding to change that somebody is good enough to change for not because you you have to change for them because because you met them because you want to change and they're the ones that are helping you do it that kind of energy it's like you were ready for this so there definitely is a transfer of energy into a different happy birthday michelle sanigate state of being but this judgment comes through i feel like there's some sort of announcement or somebody tells you something as a sense of oh they want me they want me or this is this is the right thing to do or making a decision it's a good decision it's a good choice let's get a little bit deeper into what is this decision what changes leo's mind seven of pentacles this never worked out before there was a shit ton of failure when it came to maybe your love life maybe you kept trying whatever this was you tried it you tried it you tried it it never worked fell on dead ears and guess what now there's big money now there's everything it's almost like now you found someone that you're going to live the rest of your life with or now you found exactly who you want to be for the rest of your life or now you found this really huge opportunity in terms of finances you've you've able you've been able to overcome this level of stagnation whatever it was um huge tower moment so stop stop i don't want to be ambiguous what exactly was this tower what is this tower uh strength something like lack of strength this could be also a loss of health like feeling vulnerable or feeling weak it could be a shock that comes to your system when you feel the weakest your mind becomes the most clear right now that you feel this vulnerability you understand things in a way that you never understood them when you were super strong and powerful and that's what actually creates something to you that wasn't there before okay um knight of wands okay stop what changes what does it look like you have a new passion you have a new focus you're gonna go for it and you definitely should knight of wands means you absolutely have to take action and that yes if you were looking for validation yes you need to make these decisions you need to trust your intuition not your feelings not your emotions you need to trust your intuition you will make really good decisions and you know that you have to kind of like level up and make decisions that are more i'm gonna say it i don't care if you're 50 i don't care if you're 70 they're more grown up because they're not just it's not like you're the, it's like you're not the center of your life anymore you're not the center of your room there's something else going on that's more important than you and it's actually making you the best version of yourself yes 
Siree, what is the Seven of Pentacles? Can you please clarify that for me? You lost something or something walked away from you. Um, there was a sense of maybe feeling dumped or you were fighting from the perspective of being defensive because there was a sense of um, abandonment here, right? And a sense of trying to like stick up for or maybe not wanting to leave somebody behind, not, not wanting somebody to get dumped or to get, you know, um, discarded. Like saying that that's wrong. That's not the way we act. That's not what I'll allow. I won't allow somebody to just be thrown away. This could even be a time in your life when you felt discarded, that you felt, oh, I have to stand up for myself. I have to say something. I have to take action on this. And you should. Let's go to the extended. I'll see you guys there.